Well, folks, we're going to have a little project tonight. Um, I know the Tate radio, the Tate T500, is not very interesting to a lot of people. So I said, what the hell, I'm going to build myself a little circuit here that I've been wanting to build forever and just never got around to doing it. And tonight's project is going to consist of um, three parts. A 4.7 mag resistor, a 0 0.01 uh, ceramic cap, a little geranium diode, a piece of perf board, um, what's left of a bulb that I must that I uh, purposely broke to fit there, and the screws together, and yeah. Can you figure out what it is I'm going to build? And at the other end, I got a piece 58 cable. Go to B and C. Mm. Can you guess what I'm going to build? Yeah, I'm going to build myself a simple RF probe. That's the circuit, and that's what we're going to build. I got a nice little frequency counter there, and uh, for uh, tuning up uh, oscillators and chasing RF signals and everything else. This little project is going to be dandy. So, anyways, if you're interested in seeing how to build a simple RF probe with the uh, three little pieces, stand by, and we're going to build one. And all of this is going to fit inside of it, and this is how it's going to work. Uh, first thing, somebody may say, "Yeah, you shouldn't use plastic." Well, you know, maybe, maybe not. Plus, that's what I got. That's what I'm going to use, and that's it. I've also got a old uh, probe from an old voltmeter, um, so I may end up using, well, not using. I may end up building another one using that uh, probe, and we'll see how good that one is compared to this. But anyways, for right now, we're just going to build an RF probe inside of this little. Uh, actually, what it is or what it was. Uh, give me some kits. It's for. Uh, Auto DC voltage tester, 6 volt, 24 volt. 6 to 24 volt. Basically, it had a ground lead that clipped on that was on it, a little wire. And you had this, and you just probe your uh, fuse panel or wiring to see where power was in either switched or constant. And it had a bulb in the hand here that would light up. So, yeah, that's what this is. Anyways. That's uh, enough of background on it. Let's let's build this thing. Right, so the first thing you want to do is secure your wire, your coax. What I've got done with my uh, my center, I've got it brought through the board, through the hole, and then I buckled it over basically. So I, like pinched it, pinched it down, so to give it a bit of uh, you know strength. So yeah. So that's basically. If you're looking at the circuit here, basically right now we're just, we're literally right here. This part here is soldered to the board, so we still got to add this part, this section here yet. So we're right here, we're right here right now. So, yeah. Let's uh, put our resistor in, our capacitor, and in our diode. But uh, resistor and capacitor first. Hey folks, so we now have the 4.7K resistor put in and the ceramic cap so right now what we have installed we have the 4.7 uh, mag resistor installed and it goes straight through and then it gets to the ceramic cap and she goes straight through now the center pin on this piece here the center pin of this is what would connect to right here but first, before we do that, we get our diode put in. See how our diode then connects to our ground. Make sure you put it in the right direction. So the diode is the next part, and then install the ground. All right, folks. So we have this part of the probe put together. So all the circuit is now done. Um. So yeah. So your center goes from the white wire. Which goes to center on the bulb. Got a little blemish there to cut off, but uh, I'll resolder that actually. It looks like crap. 
both um, sort of ground then I need to bring another ground wire from here it's got to come out of this of this um, handle basically and that's going to come out in with an alligator clip so that's got to be able to clip on to whatever you're trying to test so yeah so now we're going to reset that way wire and then we're going to run a, uh, a ground wire out through the top of that uh, handle so yeah the probe is almost done all right folks so we have the completed probe i just tested her with my uh, ohmmeter sitting right there and uh, i verified that the tip is not short at the ground which is the first thing you have to do make sure these two way tip is it's well what you want to do make sure you wear in here between your board and your socket is fairly you know long not too long but enough so when you screw this on that uh, there's enough there that is not going to interfere too much that shouldn't you know short out the chassis lift in the old socket but uh, there's the board that uh, we installed or built resistor diode capacitor coax Goes out to a BNC. Here's my ground lead, and now that can connect directly to my uh, frequency counter. And I'm trying to align a radio. All I have to do is just put you guys down for a minute. It just connects the BNC to my frequency counter, like so. And then clip the ground on to the uh, clip the ground onto the circuit board ground, not chassis, circuit board ground. So there you go. There is my completed RF probe. Anyways, it's an easy circuit. And uh, the next one I'm building, I'll uh, I'll enclose it in a aluminum case. Like I say, I got an old voltmeter probe, an old vacuum tube uh, probe. The voltmeter itself, the vacuum tube voltmeter itself gave out, but I kept the probe and it has the aluminum, you know, enclosed um, unit. So I'll probably be building, I'll probably build another one, but uh, for right now we'll try this one out for a couple of projects. We'll try an alignment on uh, on a radio. What we might do tomorrow, I might just take out the Cobra 139 XLR I got just for badness. And do an alignment on <laughs> it just for the hell of doing it. Just to see how well this thing works. But anyways, until then, I hope the video was of use. And yeah, I wanted to build this thing for a long time. And uh, Mr. Ray, the Jedi, knew I had this for a long time. And he told me, why don't you build an air probe out of it? Well, Ray, here she be. <laughs> Finally decided to build it. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. All the best in 73.